Hi, I'm going to provide a quick introduction to the 0.1 beta version of Vision software. I'm going to run through the case creation, so patient, patient creation process from the very beginning, but in a rather quick manner. I'm going to click start new patient, create a new patient. Uh, I will select to show the hints, and I'm going to start by uploading the upper and lower jaws for the patient. The software supports OBJ and STL formats as indicated in the inputs. I will also provide some test data as the patient personal info. I'll specify some date. And as you can see, there's a list of different photo types I could upload. I'll only upload a single one to demonstrate a feature later on. Once I'm happy with these data that I specified, I'll click next. Depending on your internet connection speed, this process can be very fast. What's happening right now is the, is the files that you select to upload are being uploaded to the cloud so that they are available for downloading and referencing later on from any machine, from any device. That you are also, that you have vision software installed on and you are authenticated on. So I'm going to follow the hints and really quickly go through the process, just like the hints indicate. I'm going to click the points. I'm going to make small adjustments to the coordinate system so that the coordinate system matches the coordinate system of the software. I'm going to click next once I'm happy. I'm going to follow the next set of hints. So it's telling me to indicate the extents of every single tooth. And if I have one tooth missing, I can indicate the missing tooth with the little cross. So we don't have the 18th tooth. So I'm going to indicate that it's gone. And I'm going to start with the tooth number 17. I'm just left clicking and I'm indicating the distal and mesial sides of every single tooth. This process is pretty quick and it helps the software to then automatically generate the segmentation contours in a quick manner. So I don't have tooth number 28 and 38. So I'm just gonna click that they're missing. I'm gonna proceed with these teeth. I see there's one missing here. I'm gonna click to indicate that it's missing. Another one missing, and another one missing. The more accurate you are with placing these two point marks, the better, which helps the automated algorithms to generate the segmentation contours. Mm -hmm. As you can see, once I click next, the generated contours are pretty accurate, but occasionally may require a small adjustment. I'm going to follow the, the hint and use hold shift and left click on the point that I want to correct. I'm going to check around all the other teeth. I don't see any problems. I also need to make sure to check the lower jaw. I don't see any problems here. So once I'm happy with everything here, I'm just going to click next, which will result in the contours being cut and the meshes for the teeth separated. As you could see, the process of generating the contours and actually cutting is very fast due to the presence of our improved algorithms and the segmentation is even better than before. And you probably have noticed the difference in the new design. So once I'm happy with the way this looks, I'm going to click next. This is the new stage for uh, root direction teeth orientation process. We have the side view previews to help with, the, with determining very precisely and very accurately the directions of the teeth and the roots. The previews are updated in real time, which is very helpful. 
I don't think there's much need to correct these. These look pretty good. I'm going to click next once I'm happy with the directions of the roots. And this next process will clean the interfaces between teeth. It will generate the new gingiva model. And it will also generate high quality anatomical roots for every single tooth. So what's happening right now, there are a set of algorithms running in the background, sorting out the scanning artifacts that occur between teeth and the interface between teeth is being cleaned so that we end up with these good looking models. So this is the setup stage. This is where we would arrange and move the teeth and align them. We have a collision avoidance system. So once I left click on the tooth I want to move, it is, it is immediately in collision with some of the teeth and it's not able to exit. The colors indicate that the motion along these directions is not possible. But if you want to force through uh, a situation like that, there is a button to toggle the collision avoidance system this top right button. I'm gonna click on it. And now I'm able to move the tooth freely, rotate, etc. 